So 2023, one of the slowest years for real estate across the entire country has come to an end. And you're probably wondering what the future of the Myrtle Beach real estate market looks like. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a crystal ball, so I cannot tell you the exact right moment to buy or sell a home. But what I can do is share with you some numbers and data from the past few years. This way you can feel more comfortable making the best decision for your specific situation. Hey, welcome back. And if you're new here, my name is Nick. And on this channel, I talk about things to do here in Myrtle Beach. I give tips and advice about the area and I'm a real estate agent. So of course I talk about the real estate. So if you are thinking about relocating to the area, then be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and tap the little notification bell while you're at it. This way you could be the first to know about what's going on here in Myrtle Beach. I get calls every single day from people just like you who are moving to the area. So if you ever have any questions or if I can help you find home here at the beach, then I would love to chat with you. You can always use the first link down in the description to schedule a call with me. I wanna start off by saying Happy New Year. I hope that everyone had a great holiday season. My family and I certainly did. 2023 definitely flew by and we are looking forward to what 2024 has in store for us. Okay, so I wanna get into some data with you, starting with the number of sales throughout the greater Myrtle Beach area for 2023 which much like the rest of the country was down this year compared to previous years. Now in this video, I am gonna be looking at my notes a little bit because it's a lot of numbers and I can't memorize them all. So in 2023, there were 10,941 homes sold, which is about 8.7% less than the 11,994 home sales in 2022. Now, condo sales in 2023 were actually down 19.6% to 5,696 units from the 7,088 units that were sold in 2022. Now, there is a little bit of an asterisk for the 2023 numbers because I pulled this data right at the end of the month and the sales for 2023 could still be entered in a few days into the new year, but nonetheless, the sales are still down for 2023 compared to 2022. And looking at this chart, we can see that not only are sales down from 2022, but they are actually the lowest they've been since 2019 for single family homes and the lowest they've been since before 2018 for condos. With that being said, sales throughout the entire country were the lowest in 2023 that they have been in a very long time. And I think that comparatively, Myrtle Beach has held up pretty well. Myrtle Beach is becoming more and more popular. Sales have only been increasing. And I think moving forward, that is going to continue to happen as time goes on. Obviously the 2021 numbers were unprecedented with the extremely low interest rates that led to high buyer demand. And that coupled with record low inventory led to a huge boost in the market. And that started in late 2020 and trickled into early 2022. Along with sales being down, the average days on market is up for our MLS. And the days on market represents the amount of time it takes for a home to sell from the day it goes onto the MLS to the day it closes and transfers to the new owner. For single family homes, the average days on market was up about nine or 10 days on average for 2023 compared to 2022 and for condos it was up about 20 days on average. Now despite those two previous points the average sales price for both single family homes and condos was actually up higher than it was in 2022. Average sales price for homes was about 422,000, which was about 98% of the average list price. And the average sales price was up about 3.22% from 2022. 
The average sales price for condos was about $280,000, which was about $20,000 higher than the average sales price for 2022. Now you might be wondering why or how this is the case. And I'm gonna share my screen here in a second and we're gonna go over some more charts and graphs and dig into that a little bit. Okay, so now that I'm showing my screen, the first chart that I wanna show you here is the average sales price. We're looking at single family homes here. Um, this chart's going back five years. Um, each one of these points here is monthly data, not yearly data like we were just discussing. But as you can see from about mid 2022, prices, though they're fluctuating up and down from month to month, they're actually holding a pretty steady. Um, if we look at the same chart here for the condos and townhouses, you can see kind of the same thing, though we are starting to see condos dip down a little bit more than the single family homes. Um, this is what the chart looks like here for all property types combined. Um, now, the reason why I don't think the prices are dipping down too much is because we still have pretty low inventory. Now, obviously, the inventory is not as low as it was in 2021 and in parts of 2022, and it did shoot up quite a bit throughout 2022, but it's been remaining pretty level since the end of 2022 throughout this year. Now, general rule of thumb is that a balanced market is about six months supply of homes. And as you can see, we're sitting at about three and a half months supply throughout all of 2023 for single family homes. For condos and townhomes, the month supply is actually creeping up a little bit close to four, maybe four and a half months of inventory. But generally, we are still in what is considered a seller's market because we have a less than six months supply of inventory. It might seem like there are a lot more homes on the market than there have been because there are. In 2021 and parts of 2022, we had only about one month supply of inventory. So we've nearly tripled our inventory, but it's still relatively low. Comparatively, if we go back 10 years, you can see that the month supply of inventory for single family homes in our market just has been slowly trickling down as the years have gone on. Now, the market is definitely more balanced than it has been in previous years, but technically we are still in a seller's market. Now, I think that we aren't seeing a lot of homes come to the market because a lot of these homeowners here in the area do have interest rates that are in the three, four, five percent territory. So they're not listing their homes to go move elsewhere because they don't want to have that higher interest rate. And though closed sales are down and they've been going down, as we can see from this chart here, it does seem like they are starting to level off. And we can see with the pending sales, so these are deals that are under contract, they might even start ticking up a little bit here in November. Um, we can see that, as we discussed, the sales price is still up high here for the Myrtle Beach area. Now, something that you may have noticed in the news recently is that interest rates are the lowest that they have been in months and months and months. And with that, we have been starting to see more buyer activity. Me personally, I've been getting a lot more calls, even though it's been throughout the holiday season. We're seeing more activity on our websites. And when talking to lenders, they are starting to get more mortgage applications coming in. And what that means is we might be leaning back towards more higher buyer demand. Now there's definitely still some uncertainty with interest rates, whether or not they are gonna to continue to go down or maybe increase again. I don't think we're gonna see a huge shift in either direction within the next couple of weeks. I think they're gonna remain a level. Um, with that being said, I do think we're gonna have some good buyer activity throughout the first month or two of the new year with those interest rates being lower. Maybe we'll see some more inventory come to the market as sellers are more willing to put their home up and they can get into 
a new home at these interest rates that aren't as high as they have been. Throughout the first part of 2024, I'm expecting the level of sales and prices to remain relatively level. I think this is probably gonna be a good time to buy if it is a good time for you. At the end of the day, your specific situation and your needs is going to determine what is the best time to buy because you can never time the market. Though again, I do think it's a good time before we see the increased buyer demand from the spring and summer months. Overall, I do think we're gonna see more activity throughout this year and probably higher prices for 2024 than we saw in 2023. But again, nobody has a crystal ball. These are just my predictions. With all that being said, if you have any questions, if you wanna chat about this in a little bit more depth, or if I can help you find home here at the beach, then I would love to chat with you. As always, you can use the first link down in the description to schedule a call with me. I wanna thank you for watching and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one.